birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, I got something for you. Oh, you didn't have to do that, George. Put out your hands. What's this? Our flight leaves in two weeks. What about your book in the publishing house? Well, Sam, I've got writer's block. I need a vacation. So we're really going. We are really going. Japan. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> After 25 years, you just still amaze me. Oh, it's going to be great. We're going to tour the whole countryside and we're going to... Oh. Are you okay? Oh, I just feel a little lightheaded. Maybe it's the wine. You know, why don't you go upstairs and lay down, and I'll, I'll clean up down here. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You've made me really happy today, George. We can't deny the fact that people are getting sick from the air we breathe, the water we drink, and it's all because of our pollution and what we are doing to this planet. Mr. Dawson, Dr. Reed is ready for How you. How would you explain that these major illnesses, most of which have become cancerous, are occurring in the most polluted cities in our nation? Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Dr. Reed and the nurse were in earlier. They didn't say anything, though. I think they think we are spies. <laughs> what did they tell you? Well, they said you're going to be here a little bit longer. George, what about the trip to Japan? Well, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll go next month. Okay. Was that all they said? I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. The surgery wasn't as successful as we hoped. Evelyn's cancer is still spreading. And we need to prep her for chemotherapy as soon as possible. Before it's too late. What do you mean too late? We don't know how much longer she has. I'm sorry, George. I want to see my wife. I picture us there, moving past all this. Those books I read about Asian cultures mentions how the color green represents sickness. And in sickness, we learn to appreciate the ones we love. I'm so tired, George. I love you, Evelyn. What this situation reflects is something that we all find very hard to accept. The things that you love most in the world today may not be there tomorrow. <laughs>